Hello, and once again, do not forget to launch Visual Studio the correct way. So we shall right click and then we start it as administrator. All right, thank you so much for watching these videos. My name is Kamiya Simon, and we are continuing with our 3DS Max SDK. All right, so I'm still using Visual Studio 2015 and 3DS Max uh, 2018. And today we're going to create our first object. All right, so Visual Studio is launching, and then we're going to create a new project. Now, do not forget that um, we are following the documentation. I don't want us to go away uh, so much from the documentation. So the first example I'm going to use is going to be coming from the Max SDK documentation itself. And I, for one, I have a CHM. Now, when I go to the CHM, I'm going to go to uh, SD to the SDK. I'm looking for writing plugins. Okay. Now I want to look at sample lessons. Okay. So I'll go to the lesson of the geometry object. Now these other lessons are important. We shall go to them slowly by slowly. So I'll go to the geometric object lesson, and that's where we're going to start. All right. So. If you watch my previous video, you're going to see how we use classes and methods and functions here. Okay, so we're going to go to our Visual Studio and I'm going to create a new project. Okay, and this project I'm going to call it First Mesh. Remember, you don't you're not supposed to leave spaces. So you either use an underscore but it's better I do it this way. So first mesh, you go ahead and finish and then you create the project. So when we go to the documentation, okay, these are very important things that you, you need to read through. And especially when it comes to, to the objects, remember that we have the super class, uh, then we have the class itself, okay? So these are very important to know. And then remember that every object needs to create to have a node before it's created. And the node is instanced. So for example, the geometric uh, object plugins are extended from the geom object class. You get this? And then inside the geom object class, we have other classes. So they are usually extended from a child class of the GEOM object, which is called Sample Object 2, Simple Object 2. So we have other classes that lie under the same, the same uh, GEOM object class. Okay, you'll find that um, we may have parts. We have other classes that may lie under the same object class. So now, the good thing with the documentation, when you click here, okay, now I'm using the CHM, you go to the class itself. Now this is the GEOM, uh, the GEOM object class. And for you to use it, you must use, include this uh, header. So we're going to come to that. And this is the best class of creating a geometric object, okay? Now this class represents objects that has geometry and is renderable, which means there are certain objects that can be there but are not renderable. And now the first thing you need to, to do is have, uh, these are the member functions that can be called, okay? You can create a name using the init node name. We have the super class, okay? We have if the geometry object is renderable not. We have it is if you, so you can read each of these can be called as a function to the geom object class. So I've, cli I've, I've gone ahead to, to click on the object, still we are calling the same thing. So the object class is the best class of all objects. Okay, so all objects lie under this same class. We're going to go ahead and we look at the, the other class of simple object too. Okay, so you can see for you to use it, you must call simple the simple object header and then you read the description, okay? So the class uh, adds parameter block system too. I remember I talked about parameter blocks uh, systems of the simple object base class. 
it has a public data member of iparam block 2 and the first thing i'm going to do i already uh, created my solution which is the first mesh and i'm going to go down here okay we are going to be using uh, for the moment uh, one class that is uh, given to us so i'll, I'll call i'll call first mesh.cpp okay and this is uh, remember that this is your unique class for that uh, particular plugin that you're designing okay and it the, the class first mesh is a utility is referencing a utility object class a utility a utility object class okay is referencing a utility object and uh, these are some of uh, the other parameters okay these these are parameters are called here but they are functions elsewhere down there for example the beginning and the end the destroy so we're going to go to begin edit param down begin edit param here is where we put um our our uh code to call the different functions when we press the utility button all right oh it's here i was uh making on end so this is when you uh, release or unpress the button all right so we're going to go ahead and first create a class and we and please take take note that there are certain errors that i expect to see and we're going to see how to resolve them so our class is going to be simple gear object let's begin with this we shall create our own so our class is going to be simple gear objects i'm going to copy the, all this code and i'm going to explain so i'm creating a class and that class okay is called simple gear object now i have a warning here and i'm going to uh, sample object it's calling simple object two. I have a warning here, and we're going to find a way of resolving it. Now, let me explain this. We have a class sample object. Now, sample object as a class is calling simple object two, which is a class. If you come to 3ds Max, this this simple G object is calling on something called object size and object size is referenced here as a double and it's a member variable okay so double meaning it can go uh, um, with decimals now we're not going to mind the mouse right now but we have also another called build mesh and build mesh is taking in the time value of where the mesh is being built in in uh, this is usually uh done at the beginning uh of the timeline it puts it at zero zero now the the others are the usual which is the class id this one must change because we have uh we have a different class id here so i can even comment it out okay these two these three, I can connect, comment them out because we already have a class ID up there. Otherwise, uh, we would have created the same project. So which means I can even call this first mesh. All right, so we're going to see. So this here, this here is a function being called and it is, it is referencing to a member function called build mesh, which comes with 3D Studio Max. So let us see now. So simple object two, okay, won't call a mouse. We shall call it later. But the parent class is simple object that has this data of the mesh. Okay. So simple object mesh. Now we're going to call simple object, simple sample G object build mesh, and we state the time value. So this is now a function. The other one was a class, but this is a function. So I'm going to paste the function here. Let me make sure that I demarcate this uh, different from these other parameters. Okay. Okay. 
So we are going to call the function and that function is first referencing the class. Okay, so you've seen that build mesh. Okay, let me do this. Before, we had issues with build mesh. Okay, but after adding that function that is being called, okay, which is sample G object, build mesh, and the time value T, which is now uh, indicated as void here, okay, this now is corrected now we have an issue an issue we need to call again certain few things for example it's, it can't find mesh what is mesh and remember here they are telling us that under sample simple object is mesh so in our parent class the mesh data lies under simple object we get it eh? all right so let's go ahead and the first thing we're going to do is import those classes so we're going to include and we are including simple object with the capital s simple object here it is okay then i want to save and you see if we still have issues here with okay so the moment i imported the class you can see that everything here is put right all right, so we still have something missing. And let's check our documentation that we, we, we're making. So we've, we've added how, the, how many faces and vertices the, the object is going to have. And then finally, we are now creating the object. So you can see it is in the begin edit params. So I'm just going to copy this code and replace with the other one under the begin edit params okay so let me explain uh, something here so we are now calling the other class sample object and creating okay an object out of it now this new this object is reaching out for sample object as a method and using it so we are instancing sample G object, which is the class that is created here. All right. So now after getting, so here we instance the class by creating an object. The programming object, okay? Now, then we we'll create a node at this moment, and that node is going to hold our object. So the node is under the class inode, okay, which instances now node. This can be anything else called, and then we put it into the interface. Remember, IP represents the interface in 3ds Max. And then we create an object node, okay, for my object. So I node is the first in the tree, and then in the interface we create an object node for my object that was created there. And then we set the time that the time value is going to be at zero, and then the matrix, okay, for the, that whole object, okay. And then we get the node that was created here. And we set the node to follow the time, which is at zero, okay? And then also follow the matrix, okay, which it was given. So after creating the object here, we've given it a node. Give node to object. Okay. Then we indicate the time, the time on the timeline, timeline value. So at this moment, 
the object has already been created here and now we've set the time and the matrix so we've set the time and the matrix so the matrix is like the three pointer the xyz okay a matrix of three and then finally we get that node that was created here the object and we make sure that we set it to follow our time and the matrix all right so let's see what we've created so i'm going to run remember to turn uh, to hybrid then don't forget to come here and right click on your first mesh or your solution and then you make sure that the target sdk is that as we learned in the first lessons okay so i'll choose 10 5 8 6 as we learned in the first lesson and then you can run okay of course the uh, the project is out of date you can build it so since this is the first time we're creating we're launching this project so i need to add it to my utilities so i'll just come here okay and then i add for example they are nine i'm going to make them ten okay so we we'll look for it here which is we called it first mesh and then we we'll drag it and put it on the 10th empty slot here great so it's among our utilities now so when i click on it and then i come and click um in the middle here you see it has created our first mesh thank you so much for creating your first mesh in 3d studio max okay and then the first thing it has created it at time zero okay and then it has given it um uh, the faces that were created here for example um i'll come back here so um this you set the number of vertices to four and then set the faces to three okay and then you set the you set the vert uh, of the object uh, based on the object size now this is the matrix now remember we have four vertices so here we're giving them position okay so one will be at position 10 10 units uh the other 10 units the other still okay so we are setting the vertices one two three all right so if i come here in the front okay now i don't know um how many uh, let me see i didn't set my uh let me let me come here and then we'll make sure that we have okay the unit set up so i'm going to choose uh metric and then i'll choose centimeters i'm, I'm okay with centimeters and then display is also centimeters okay so i can move this aside but whenever i go back to my utility and then come back and click you can see it has already created another here you see that and they all start at zero zero units all right please do not forget to subscribe visit our website support in any way possible and uh uh, in the next video we're going to be creating our first box okay our first box this was a mesh but we want now to get from the geometry ob objects themselves and then we shall also see how we use the mouse thank you so much for watching this video let's meet again